And I could see from his demeanor, the man had gone a bit frail. He had changed. He's not the sata we, we knew. I knew this, the man is sick. His voice was the same, same mm -hmm. authority, but appearance. I knew there's something wrong with the president. Then he says to me, Kalein Panch. I was at a distance because the ministers were in front. There was some furniture behind. So he says, Sen Kunu. So I sat here, we were waiting Sunday, and he sat here. Then he picked up the phone to call the gate. Mm -hmm. And his question was, Moshe <laughs> Winta And everybody, whoever answered there says, I think all over left more something. Okay, give it five minutes. Puts the phone down. Then he says, Winter and Demutanji. Now, I'm like, hello? Mm -hmm. We've just had this dress down, yeah. but, but he's going back to his original plan. Mm -hmm. He says, Winter and Demutanji. Now, I need us to agree, Secretary General Minan. I said, uh, it, it's your call. You're the president. The Constitution says that I know. You will know all of us, Secretary General. Mm, he offered it to you. Me. Mm, mm. And I said, no. Then he turns to Kuliba and said, So I said, but President, can I explain? Uh -huh. I said, we are waiting to have a career. He's from Muchinga. He is from Muchinga. Mwayaika la pamupika. By way of convenience. But you're from Chinsari. That I know. So once you're from Chinsari, you Chinsari. Mumuchinga. So how will it sit out there that you are a president of a political party? Your secretary general is also from Chinsari and from Muchinga. For a moment, he, he took it. And he says, okay. So who do you propose? And I said, no. That's your prerogative. It's your discretion. It's your decision. Vawiri, know our president, we can take some time and think about it. Long story short, that is how come ECO became the... The Secretary General after winter was fired. Because he took a decision himself. Now, Honorable Winter Kabimba was here where you are seated, mm -hmm. and he somehow touched that matter, mm -hmm. and he appears to have stated that he actually doubts if his dismissal even took place. He assumes it was a decision of other people, he even doubts if the letter came from President um, Michael Sata, the dismissal for him as uh, Justice Minister, and the withdrawal of his nomination as um, and he says he's putting it in a book. I said, as soon as it is in the book, come, we reflect on it. Mm. But you are telling us mm. that you had heard the president speak to this matter yes. two, three times yes. before it even happened. Yes. Ah, okay. That is how come we were given the instructions. Watch the entire video, my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. After the meeting, they came up to me and said, when we were at Omelo Mumba Road, you remember what Vasata said? I said, yes. And he says, we will never come to this meeting again. And I said, but why? And he said, uh, if you don't take charge of this meeting, nothing will happen. These are old goonies who are too slow, and this is not how you win an election. These are young men yeah. who are eager, and you know, for them it was like 
life and death. So I said, okay, come to my office tomorrow. We'll sit, discuss, then we'll go and see the old man. They came up with these ideas and they wanted to see how the three NGOs I was controlling could be used for this and that. Eventually, I went and saw the old man and I said, these old men may not take you where you want to go, but we have this new plan. Then he said, come at 20 hours. I went and saw him in the night. We sat, the two of us, and Ichim uh, Tichakotapen. Mm. Outside his home. Yeah. And then he said, from today, you shall lead the presidential campaign. I'm going to leave the 150, 156 seats in winter cabin. But you lead the presidential campaign. He planned Mampela. I think it can work. Mm. And that kicked off the campaign for Basad. And all I said to us is, I don't want your money. What I want is you give me your name. He says, what do you mean? I said, wherever I shall go, there shall be money. But you have to ratify and validate whatever I'm going to say. So wherever we went campaigning, wherever we went looking for funds, mm -hmm. and whoever we spoke to, if they doubted, all I said, this is the number, call him. And when they called who is there? Ah, that's my boy. Just do what he wants. And that's, that's how we were covered. Yeah. Not in way from Basat. The mm -hmm. money came from the people we used to go and see and the politicians and businessmen we wanted to associate with. Eventually, we started running and had the campaign running. It didn't sit well with the full structure of the PF because now we became enemy number one. Why is Basat going to this law firm? Why isn't he coming to the secretariat? And why is this and why is that? Eventually, we told him we needed to change you. In other words, image building. Mm. This picture you have, this, this, we have to. When we started breaking all that, the structures in PF felt uh -uh, we are taking too much control. But he was very obedient, he was very kind, and he agreed to most of what we did. I remember my good friend Charlie Mubanga. Forgive the expression, we used to call him Charlie Sex at the yes. time. <laughs> Keza Zulu, you know, Chiruanama, myself, and others. He would simply say, That was all I would say. And the first pictures we went to take of him, his family, was at a studio called Enzi. Now there's a, feeding, is, yeah, there's, a, is, yeah. there's a feeding station there. I don't mm. know what has happened to that place. Mm. We took him for photos and things like that, and we changed his image and things and stuff. And then we started the branding of motor vehicles, campaign photos and things and stuff. The, the momentum was growing, but he did most of the work. I must commend him. He was on radio, community radios. He was out there. He was hammering the MMD and... Eventually, come 2011, fast forward, Vasata won the elections. But the funny thing is, when he won those elections, we were doing a PVT as anti-rigging. Mm -hmm. And we had the monitors trained, the agents mm -hmm. trained and everything. When we did our numbers, around 2030, myself, Honorable Bob Sechinga, State Council Mumbaka Pumpa, went to Melo Mumba Road. And I said, congratulations, we're president. <laughs> we found him sitting under the same yeah. caterpillar tree behind mm. his house. Avena security. If I have won, what are you doing here? Why are you not at Mulungosh? Then I said, no. But from what we've done and our figures, but it has to be announced officially. I want to see you at Mulungosh, Babuari. Otherwise, I don't believe. So we went to Mulungush. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, around midnight or slightly before, the then Chief Justice Irene Mambirima, the late, may her soul rest in peace, came in and said, there are few constituencies remaining, but even with those, even if we gave them to Arabi, there will be no way of catching up. So we are going to declare 
and the results were declared. Before they could declare the results, my phone rang. Who's calling? Bamdala. Olikwisa. Natimuacheba tingi se kumulungushi. Now, our uh, police were at Sakunanaba Special Branch. I don't want them here. You come back here. Mm -hmm. So I said, but how do I get there before we hear the final announcement here? I said, come back. Mm -hmm. So I told Basichinga, Naba Mumba Kapumba, I said, I said, no, but we've got to hear this. He says, well, the man says, the state has already moved. Mm -hmm. So he knows the results now. Mumba, moving Basichinga, and myself moving from Mulungushi to Basata's home to Melo Mumba took us uh, one hour and a half. There were people like this yeah. on yeah. the streets. We, could, we were driving at 10 kilometers an hour. We took a long route. Before we could reach Omelo Mumba Road, the road was blocked. We had to go and park at St. Ignatius Church and then walk. walk. To his meander home, through meander through the people until we got to the gate. Then we told the police, OP or whoever was there, no, the, the president got it for her. No, 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 no. Who are you? By that time, state had taken. There's no structure. They, yes, they, they, yes. They, they, now it's like mm -hmm. we don't know you. So eventually, I, I called Mukati. And then Vamayovana Kaseva came and said, No, I over tattoo. So that's how we got him. And from there, this is now after zero one zero towards zero two. He starts giving instructions. I want you to go tomorrow. Go and see Kanganja. Who was, who was secretary sec to cabinet? Secretary, secretary to the cabinet. Go and get government. You worry. So I'm like, how? Um, who am I in the structure? I said you go and get government. And what you do are the following. Take on there. The inauguration was set. I want to go to Supreme Court. I want, I want, I think he had five conditions and mm -hmm. he was telling us. So I'm looking at Bob Sitching and I'm like, oh, okay. I'm looking at Mumbaka Pumpa and they are saying, go and sleep because by seven hours you must be at cabinet. True to form, by 7.30 we were at cabinet. And we saw the winter uh, state council, secretary general of the party then, and the guys court, and the rest coming in. Mm -hmm. But we had already arrived. And the Kanganja came. And, ah, Fube, remember it was my lecturer from campus? Yeah. Yeah. Are you the one I've received phone calls for? I said, yes. All right. And they need your team to the conference room. So we went to conference room, and the discussions were held, and Fast forward, PF is in government. Now, what was good about Basat? I'm saying this and I've gone into detail because that's how close we were. Yeah. yeah. And we learned a lot from this man because this is one person, because of his longevity in politics, he was ready to be president. He, he was ready. He was ready. He had the blueprint. He had a plan, he had a vision, he knew what he wanted to do for this country. The one thing I learned from Vasata over the time that we were together was you needed to know your country. He would give you details about who you're going to meet, where you're going to meet him, the color of the house he lives in, and his phone number. <laughs> it, 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 it became so funny that if he says, you would travel two kilometers off the road, call this number, exactly what he would tell you. That's what you find. The man knew his people. He knew his country. He knew exactly what he wanted to do for the country. And that is why when it came to the infrastructure, which we also in Zambia must prosper, are trying to follow up, in terms of our manifesto, is we agreed that there is no way a country can develop without infrastructure. Mm. If your infrastructure is not competing at global, international level, there is no way you're going to attract investment, no matter how good your policies are. Because mm. when the investors come, if they cannot pick up a phone and call, the network is bad. 
their driving mobility is not there. They will tell you this country, uh, yeah. we can't. Yeah. So he knew. Yeah. So Basata was ready. And when he began to execute his policy, the one thing I learned from Basata was he didn't care much about procedure. Mm -hmm. When he was president, what he wanted, he wanted. Yeah, bureaucracy frustrated him. And he said, if you're going to be waiting for these technocrats, they will first tell you they want a seminar, they want a workshop to discuss. Mm -hmm. Just tell them what you want. Mm -hmm. It must be done. It came to a point where we began now to relate to government officials in a manner that this is the kind of president you're dealing with. When he wants something done, do it. I think credit to him, even at the Memorial Park where we bury our presidents, those museums that are built there, he wanted things done. He was always shouting at Yangfo Mukanga, who was infrastructure minister at the time, why is it that this is not repaired? Why is this not done? Why is this? I, if I come here in three months and it's not done, I'll fire you. Mm -hmm. I think on one visit, he went to the copper belt yeah. and the presidential guest house was in a mess. And says in Shasendamimo. But next time I come here, if I find it like this, you're fired. So you could see that mm -hmm. to him, budgets didn't matter. You had to maintain a certain standard of things. And if you had to short change and move a budget to fit into what he wanted. It went for the road infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So when he went and said link Zambia 8,000, he knew what he wanted. He knew the kind of roads he wanted. He knew who was going to do what. This is a president who knew that opening up a country means goods and services will be moved faster. Mm -hmm. And it also meant that the people will get their produce to the markets faster. Mm -hmm. You don't teach that. Mm. That you learn from practice. Yeah. But you also knew Pamishi, Apa Wemfum, Sean Simunum Zambia, you could tell you. Mm. And if you say, no, to Lefo Kuyoko, Mwalam Sangaba Chief, and he will tell you in advance. And uh, whether you're in Western he province, the country, he knew, knew the, the country. And they knew the people. Mm. I think for any leader vying to be a president of this country, mm. you must know your people. Basata knew his people. Credit to him. He had a vision. He knew what he wanted to do for his people, and he knew how to execute it. The downside, Mulibasata, was because he knew what he wanted, he started taking shortcuts. Mm. So some people would say he was abrogating government procedures. He was abrogating government protocol. Mm. And uh, you remember, I think, on one, two occasions, he embarrassed the then RDA chairperson, mm. Ba Wilinsand. Mm. There was a road, Uku, Kumikango. Yeah. I think he went to inspect, and they hadn't moved in the manner he wanted. There was a shout down there. Then there was the Matumbo Road, Chama Matumbo. They went, and then they had bulldozers. They wanted him to ride the bulldozer. So he says, if you've taken money from these Chinese, I'm not getting on your bulldozer. Nah, yeah. mm -hmm. He went to commission Zesco. They come to Western <laughs> Province. Yes. <laughs> you, you knew him. <laughs> so if, if things didn't seem right, mm. he would just... But he was not diplomatic. Mm. PS, party official... If he sensed there's something wrong, he would embarrass you. Right then, then, and walk away. Mm. So that didn't sit well with some officials. It didn't sit well with some of the civil servants, technocrats. And um, the other thing that I found was also on the downside was um, he, <laughs> maybe because of his experience, mm. he was a very... Brutal man. Is that the right word? Maybe yeah. brutal is too, too big. He was a very blunt man, mm. and he didn't care what it meant. Yeah. So he, long said he said it. And mm. whether he's on the podium, whether it's on a press conference, you saw in his appointments, Basata 
would appoint you in the morning if a security breach or report is received by evening you'll be fired and he didn't mind whether you were on the road to take up your post your <laughs> arrival advice sleep was with you he didn't mind mm. because to him uh -uh, well, and mm. yeah economically um to get the infrastructure moving maybe again with due respect uh he wasn't very academically gifted, but he had a lot of experience. Mm. He didn't look into the details, the finer details of things. And that is how come some people took advantage and figures were inflated, blotted, and we got into a debt situation which we shouldn't have been in. I think for Vasat, uh, that's what I can say. Ah, okay. You didn't make it into cabinet with Vasata. And that surprised many people, mm. especially the elaborate explanation you've given and the insights and how much he trusted you with responsibility. Would you share some light? It was an agreement. Mm -hmm. We had agreed that we would join him in 2016. Okay. And we had formed a core group which he wanted to transcend and move with in 2016. I think you remember some of the headlines where he began to say my MPs are useless. And mm. this. He was preparing ground mm. because he knew that he had to change the team at a certain time. Mm. Lo and behold, 2014, he died. the man is gone. Did you know he was unwell? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Me and his Vasebele, uh, Bob Sichinga, Honorable, we knew. Mm. And I think on one or two occasions he confided that he wasn't feeling too well. But he made us feel it was not serious. And it's it something was, you would overcome. He, yeah. Mm. However, when I saw that it was serious, was just before he fired or dropped uh, Winter Kavimba, Secretary General. He summoned us to a meeting. Now, this meeting was the last meeting I had with Vasad. Mm -hmm. He summoned us to a meeting at State House, me and my accomplices, so to speak. Uh, this is a time where he said, the folk time for winter. Mm -hmm. And the plan is, you people must do this and help me, give me reasons why I should get rid of winter. I said, but you're the president, just fire him. He says, no, 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 I've got to have the political reasons. I mean, uh, you should create the reasons. Mm. So we came up with a team of Richard Chandaniela, Julius Komaki, Mwenya uh, Chama, Benson, Ben Siwila, yeah, and Paul uh, Murmendo, Namumushiva Chanda, Mumita Did I Had. Mm. Uh, mm. <laughs> it, though, those were part of the boys in the team my office was a planning office the execution of whatever we planned was being done at Davis Chama's Avon Lodge so whatever we planned the press briefing to denounce the Secretary General was at Avon I wanted to stay away from it because I didn't want <coughs> friction and things like that Eventually, when the plan was being executed, tension now began. Why did you want to fire his SGM? Intelligence reports mm. and uh, things I can't go into now, but things he had confided in some of us. Because at that time, mm. uh, of course, the country didn't know that we could be un unwell. There were two camps that had emerged. On one side, GBM, Ed Galungu. On the other side, Winter you know, and uh, the so-called cartel. So the party was riven in two. Is that the period you're talking about? Exactly. Mm. I, I didn't want to go into that, but ah, now okay. that you brought it up. Mm. That, so, no, because that <laughs> then leads us to what happens in 2014. Exactly, and because president. B B Basata got intelligence reports mm. and he said, uh, okay, now this is a secretary general, mm. a man I have trusted. How can he having these dark corner meetings and stuff like that. So it became an issue of how do I get rid of him without it mm. looking bad. 
So when the execution of this plan began, then he had a reason that the waters had been muddled and mm. it was no longer clean water. And I can't see the secretary, you know, working with me. We gave him the reason. But this meeting yeah. I'm talking about, we were summoned. Mm. The phone call came through very early in the morning at my office, and it, all I heard was, Itaba Ichebobe, Muisekun. Before I could even put the phone down, there were three motor vehicles from State House. So I summoned the boys to come. They came to my office, and I said, Tualami Konka, I'll drive the boys. When we got there, he said, there's somebody missing. Where's the chama? Mm -hmm. Davis Chama. So by that time, Davis Chama was around Chilenge area. We called him. He was also brought into the meeting. So me and Davis sat together. The boys were standing. In that meeting, we found Kambuiri, Honorable. Honorable William Sander. Winter Kabimba, Honorable Secretary General, and I think Justice Minister at the time. We found Wamayowa Inonge Wina, uh, Honorable. And we also found... I forget the last person. Guy Scott, mm -hmm. vice president. So when we got in, he started querying. Why are you insulting the secretary general? <laughs> now, I found that very tricky because, hang on, you're the guy giving instructions. Now you're putting us on the spot. Mm -hmm. And what do you want us to do? So, Komaki... Julius, uh, Kaila was very annoyed. He found the question a bit. Then he looked at me as if to say, but what we were at him, that, uh, uh, you understand? So I winked at him because I didn't want it. Oh, so you were summoned to be reprimanded. Yes. So that you are loyal to the SG. Correct. Yet you had daily instructions to undermine Correct. the SG. Correct. Ah, okay. So we got there. Uh, so at his best. At his best. Mm. So me, I realized uh, I can't speak. Mm. Because I was the one engaging this man. Yeah. So eventually, Kaila says, Ababa SG you can't trust him. So he came out now with the reasons mm. why and why they were doing what they were doing and things. So me, I'm watching. Mm. Davis Chama is sitting next to me. Yeah. Then it became a tit for tat between the president and Julius Komak, mm. Richard Niela, Benson Suira, and Mwenyachama. Oh, the president. On the president. And they go, 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 go. <laughs> so I said, boys, you're speaking to the president. Mm. They were all watching this. It was a spectacle now. Mm. In the top room at State House, that office, yeah. the over one. Yeah. So me, I said, Munote let me watch. So after the exchanges and pampers and everything come down, so he gave instructions. From now onwards, I want a united party. If I shall, if I will get out. So the boys refused to move. Because they were saying, why are you embarrassing us? Yeah. And you know that tension. So I stood up and I said, Mr. President, forgive me. Kaila. Uh, so the boys looked at me and I said, Fumen. So the president was now looking. The boy started going. So he says, "Man, nin, na miwa na tufume ni mo face mo akana mo aliala nde mo aumfu." Finish village tika pano. You know he was still playing the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I said, "But president, na papa, it's okay. I'll deal with the boys. Mm. So get out." Yeah, so Raf Mavalumendo, they went to the car park because they had come with me, stood near my car. So to Ashalapadia, he gave a dress down also to the officials. No, mm. be kind. These cadres, we need them and what, what, and stuff like that. Then he says, all of you, get out. Uh, you've got work to do your ministers. And in fact, in Now it came so, from Or him. maybe Winter and the group had reported you to the president. Yes, they had. Ah, it was very president. obvious. They ah, had. Okay, they had. Okay, okay. Now, as I was standing up to leave, he says, well, why don't they focus me one? Now you move on sand. The rest of you can go. So Davis Chama, you can also go. So Davis says, well, President, I just focus on. Yes, but Davis, finish my life. 
in a job of your Colombia in Victim and Bosham Central Committee and things. What value are you going to add to the Central Committee? Now get out. Mm. So you know that bluntness. Yeah. So that's how Davis left. When everybody left, now there's three people. Now what I'm going to say, I wish Bar Williamson was alive. Mm. Our president, Bar Williamson, myself. And then he says, and I could see from his demeanor, the man had gone a bit frail. He had changed. He's not the Sata we, we knew. I knew this, the man is sick. His voice was the same, same mm -hmm. authority, but appearance. I knew there's something wrong with the president. Then he says to me, Kalein Panj. I was at a distance because the ministers were in front. There was some furniture behind. So he says, Sen Kunu. So I sat here, by waiting Sander, and he sat here. Then he picked up the phone to call the gate. Mm -hmm. And his question was, Moshe <laughs> Winter And everybody, whoever answered there says, I think all over Lefum or something. Okay, give it five minutes. Puts the phone down. Then he says, Winter and mm. Now, I'm like, hello? Mm. We've just had this dress down, yeah. but, but he's going back to his original plan. Mm. He says, Winter and Now, I need us to agree, Secretary Zeno Ninan. I said, uh, It's your call. You're the president. The Constitution says, That I know. You all know all of our secretary general. Mm, he offered it to you. Me. Mm, mm. And I said, no. Then he turns to and said, So I said, but President, can I explain? Uh -huh. I said, He's from Muchinga. He's from Muchinga. From Muchinga. By way of convenience. But you're from Chinsari. That I know. So once a phobia kid, but not to do in a Chinsari, Mumuchinga. So how will it sit out there that you are a president of a political party? Your secretary general is also from Chinsari and from Muchinga. For a moment, he, he took it. And he says, okay. So who do you propose? And I said, no. That's your prerogative. It's your discretion. It's your decision. Bawiri, I know our president, we can take some time and think about it. Long story short, that is how come ECO became the... The Secretary General after Winter was fired. Because mm. he took a decision himself. Now, Honorable Winter Kabimba was here where you are seated, mm -hmm. and he somehow touched that matter, mm -hmm. and he appears to have stated that he actually doubts if his dismissal even took place. He assumes it was a decision of other people, he even doubts if the letter came from President um, Michael Sata, the dismissal for him as uh, Justice Minister, and the withdrawal of his nomination as um, and he says he's putting it in a book. I said, as soon as it is in the book, come, we reflect on it. Mm. But you are telling us mm. that you had heard the president speak to this matter yes. two, three times yes. before it even happened. Yes. Ah, okay. That is how come we were given the instructions Ugutampa, Akawawawa, against mm. winter. Mm. We just didn't start. Yeah. The, I'm, I'm sorry to my big brother, Winter. He may not have known in the background what, what was, was happening. Mm. But these instructions directly came from the president. And that's what he wanted. He wanted a reason to fire Winter. I don't know what intelligence, but he told me I have intelligence reports on Winter. And I can't trust him. He can no longer be my secretary general. Himself. Mm. And we were not doing what we were doing at my office or at Avon without the blessing of State House. No, mm. we did not. But this is the catch. When that discussion is finished, 
between me, the president, and Bawirin Sand. He lifts the phone again and calls the gate. And they say, but winter has driven off. They confirm. Then he says, <laughs> The same people he had chased. Yeah, and reprimanded. And reprimanded. Mm -hmm. So I ran downstairs, went out, and I found Kaila, Julius mm -hmm. Komaki, Richard Nyela, and the rest of the crew, Mwenyechama, Benji, and everyone. I said, well, I'm father, president. The boys were upset. They didn't want to go back. I said, well, president, well, I'm fire. Yeah. Ah, well, I'm going to shout. I said, well, I'm fire. So we trooped up again. Yeah. Into, trust me, the atmosphere was so different mm. when we arrived back. <laughs> All he did was he pulled out an envelope, put it on the table, and said, job well done. Yeah. Now go and continue. <laughs> and I'm like, who does Ma this? Ma Machiavelli. You this. know what I'm saying? So for me, whatever our winter is saying, he didn't know what was yeah. at play. Sincerely so. Sincerely so. Mm. And I, I feel sorry for him. Mm. And for me, it, it was nothing personal. It mm. was just that these were presidential directives. Yeah. And we had to play. Mm. And whatever I am saying, the names I have mentioned here, if they remember that meeting, yeah. even when I'm not there, they will say the same facts. The only mm. thing I would have loved was for the win for the son that to have been alive. Mm. At least you would have vouched mm. and you would have said, yes, that was discussed. Mm. Because no, no, no. The, you know, the goodness with, with, with all these issues is the various facets. Mm -hmm. So you might have one side of the story. Mm -hmm. You might need other fa from the same event. Correct. Um, uh, for example, there's Doris Lear's book I was mm -hmm. just seeing today where Dixon Jerry says he has a perspective on what Dora was saying, mm -hmm. you know, about a matter. There are same matters, same events, same meeting, but you all have different experiences to the facts. Right. Because some facts you don't have the background. No. Like you have put in this case, mm. where you were caught probably winter, could have complained against you that you were undermining. You were summoned and you were ballocked in, in front of the president. But they were unaware that your, the your was, activities... The, the, the cobra were, was playing. <laughs> <laughs> the cobra was playing. And he played him very well. Oh, yeah. So by yeah. the time Winter was being fired mm. and dropped, mm. he didn't know what had hit him. Yeah. Because yeah. to him, the meeting he saw was the president that protected him. Yeah. Little did he know that when he left, mm. the boys and I were somewhere well, back. Rewarded. And we were rewarded. <laughs> and we were told, more fire. Yeah. So, yeah. so for yeah. me, it was like, okay, these are politics. No, no, no. You know, if you look at the profile of President Michael Sutter, that is clear. President Michael Sander, yes. you know, yes. he, he understood the politics, he mm. was very well experienced, mm. and he knew, yes. you know, like you were talking about Chiluba and being a political engineer, they all oh, had these yeah. uh, tricks of their yes, 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 yes. yes. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.